Okay, last thing we have to do before we start actually writing some code is to get some data to mess around with. And there's some really cool movie ratings data out there from a site called movielens.org. And we, they actually make their data publicly available for researchers like us. So let's go grab some. I can't actually redistribute that myself because of the licensing agreements around it. So I'm gonna have to walk you through actually going to the movie lens website and downloading it onto your own computer. So let's go get that out of the way right now. Okay, one last piece of housekeeping. So before we actually start analyzing data using Spark, we first need to get some data to analyze. So what we're gonna do is get some movie ratings data that is freely available for researchers from a site called GroupLens. And if you just go to grouplens.org, you should come to this webpage here. And what this is is a collection of movie ratings data. They have over 40 million movie ratings available in their complete data set. So that qualifies as big data. The way it works is uh, people go to movielens.org and if you want, you can go create an account there and play with it yourself. It's actually pretty good. And the way it works is you just rate a bunch of movies that you've seen before. Um, for example, Godfather, yeah, not really my cup of tea. Casablanca, of course, great movie, four and a half stars for him. Spirited Away, love that stuff. And the more you rate, the better your recommendations become. And it can, it's a good way to actually get some ideas for some new movies to watch, so go ahead and play with it. And enough people have done this that they've actually amassed, like I said, over 40 million ratings. And we can actually use that data for this course. So now we're gonna be running at first just on your desktop. So we're not gonna be running Spark on a cluster until later on. So for now, we're gonna use a smaller data set. So click on the data sets tab here of grouplens.org. You'll see there are many different data sets you can get. Their smallest one is 100,000 ratings. And um, one thing you have to keep in mind is that this data set was released in 1998. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of new movies in there. Well, you won't see any new movies in there, but things like Star Wars, you know, some of the Star Trek movies, some of the more popular classics, they'll all be in there. So you still recognize some of the movies that are in there. Go ahead and click on the ml-100k.zip file to download that data. And once you have that, Go to your downloads folder and right click on the folder that came down, extract it, and you should end up with a ml-100k folder here. Now, remember back in the first lecture, we set up a home for all of your stuff for this course and we set it up in, in the C folder under Spark course. So Navigate to your C Spark course directory right now, please. And I want you to copy the ML-100K folder into your C Spark course folder. So go ahead and hit pause if you need to go do that right now. And that gives you everything you need. Now inside that ML-100K folder, you should see something like this. There is a u.data folder file, which contains all the actual movie ratings and a u.item file that contains the, uh, the lookup table for all the movie IDs to movie names. And we're gonna be using both of those files extensively in the lectures coming up. So at this point, you should have a ML-100K folder inside your Spark course folder. And we now have the data we need to start playing with and actually run some interesting Spark scripts. All right, all the housekeeping's out of the way now. You've got Spark set up in your computer running on top of a JDK and a Python development environment. And we have some data to play with from MovieLens. So let's actually write some Spark code.